Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. Uh, so, all right. Um, so, I don't like to be... I don't like to stand out. Although I do. I, I love playing with my makeup. I love wearing boots all year long. And knee high, thigh high, whatever. I don't care. I, I love being the goth because it makes me standoffish. I love how people stay clear of me. I really do. But when I go out to clubs and stuff like that, I hang out with my friends. Dear friends. They're wonderful. I love them all to bits. That being said, when I go out clubbing with my friends, they are all these, the females are these big, beautiful, uh, glamour dolls. They look like rocker Barbie dolls, you know? They, they look like models. But some of them are, some of them aren't. Most of them work in like regular fields, finance and stuff like that. But they're absolutely drop dead fucking gorgeous, which by comparison, I look normal and approachable. And now here's where my little scam works, right? Because compared to them, I'm the approachable one. And therefore, I'm easier to talk to in club mode. Get it? So these guys who are trying to go out with my absolutely gorgeous friends, totally intimidated by them, they come over to the approachable friend, the brunette, the short one, where all these tall, gorgeous blondes are. And they sit and talk to me all night long. So I get to pick and choose from their cast-offs. Wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. But seeing as how I'm not the one that everyone's staring at, I get to be the anonymous chick in the crowd. Because nobody's staring at the weird little goth chick while everyone's staring at all these wonderful, gorgeous Amazon chicks. Yeah. My male friends. Uh, well, half of them are also quite gorgeous. Um, most of them are performers. Most of them are musicians. All of them are really cool to hang out with. A bunch of wise asses. All about the music. All about instruments. All about, you know, exciting things. It's it's so weird because we'll talk about like camping and shit like that. And I'm really into all that stuff. And, and we'll talk about like music equipment, which I'm only just now getting into because I only just now started to learn how to play guitar. Uh, before that, I only knew how to play piano and clarinet, and I don't play clarinet anymore. I haven't had one since junior high school. Um, but piano, well, I don't have a piano. I don't own one, and I've never bothered really to get myself a keyboard. And so, yeah, I didn't really know much about buying musical equipment at all. And now I actually, I'm kind of like getting into gear and stuff like that. So I'll listen every time they start talking. Oh, I got this. I got that. No, you should totally get this. So yeah, I learned a lot from them. My spending time with the guys like that is never because I'm there to fuck them. It's more because like I look at them like, well, once I've known these guys for like over a year, I kind of look at them as like my little brothers or my big brothers, depending on their ages. Or depending on how how we click <coughs> but I definitely look at them as like teachers because they are teaching me what I need to know about music and the industry and the, the equipment and just everything and I, I I feel blessed for that because most of the time they're just talking it's just small talk for them but for me I'm learning everything from them and so, I'm utterly grateful to them for all that I have learned, and I don't think that I can, I can express it to them without sounding really, really creepy. You know, like, hey, you guys, I've been totally using you for all the information that I've been stealing from you while you're just sitting there having conversations. I don't think that that will translate very well <laughs> without coming off as kind of, like, creepy. But, you know, I don't know. I've always been a people-watching person, so I guess I kind of have a little bit of creep factor in me. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs>